Hey people, this is Iberius. In today's video, we're going to be doing Walnut on TryHackMe. Make sure you're connected to your VPN, deploy the box, copy your target IP from here, and don't forget to add the machine IP with the domain walnut.thn to your Etsy hosts. As you can see, I've already gone ahead and done that right over here, walnut.thm. So what we're going to do is go ahead and run Rasta scan so we can find the uh, open ports. S, um, I'm sorry, SV version enumeration, SC default scripts, ON for an output in the nmat directory called all ports. As you can see, we have two ports open. By default, 22 is SSH and 80 is HTTP. So we're going to go ahead and visit the website to see what we are dealing with. Walnut Entertainment, okay. If you go ahead and open our uh, Firefox developer tools, go to the debugger, uh, debugger dash. There is a JS uh, directory for JavaScript files. The second script, if you go ahead and make it easier to read, scroll down a bit. Um, there is a link, HTTP walnut.thm index and a referrer parameter, which we can pass it through the uh, URL. So if you go ahead and copy this, come here and uh, address the elephant in the room, obviously look for uh, LFI and try to include the Etsy password, view the source. You can, as you can see, it is included down here with the user server manage, uh, server management with dash as their shell. So uh, here we have two options. One is to look for or try to elevate to RCE, remote code execution with log file poisoning and other stuff, or look for sensitive data on the backend machine, which is what we're gonna do. Go ahead and fire up Burp Suite. Uh, try to intercept the um, request. Send it to intruder. Uh, here, uh, positions, it is already correct. Payloads, we're gonna go ahead and use this payload, copy all this and paste it here and start the attack. Since the, uh, it is the community edition, it's gonna be a little bit slow. I'm gonna get back to you once we find what we want. Okay, intruder found what we wanted. Uh, if you go ahead and double click, the payload is at zip, Apache 2 sites enabled. Now, uh, if you go ahead and look up what sites enabled is, you can see sites enabled uh, contain symlinks to the um, Etsy Apache 2 sites available. Now, again, if you go ahead and look up sites available, this directory has configuration files for uh, Apache 2 virtual hosts. So this obviously indicates that we have virtual box, uh, virtual hosts on this box. And as you can see, the nmap script has returned 80 HTTP and 22 SSH, 7.6. Okay, as I, uh, as I was saying, we have a virtual box uh, on this, uh, virtual hosts, I'm sorry, on this box. So if you go ahead and look for them with curl dash s for silent, edge header, the host header, something that doesn't exist on walnet.thm, http walnet.thm. And if you don't know what I'm doing, I've done this in the previous videos, so you can refer to them. Uh, fuff, word list, uh, opt, sec, sec list, uh, discovery, DNS, subdomains, top 5,000, with a uh, header, again, host, fuzz.walnet.thm, http, uh, walnet.thm, I'm sorry, and filter for size, 5,829. Okay, as you can see, it has found the uh, virtual host with the subdomain of broadcast. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and add it to our Etsy hosts. Um, broadcast.walnet.thm. If you go ahead and visit the website, not send it to the proxy on burp you can see it's asking for a uh, basic authentication admin admin nothing unauthorized so back to what we found triple uh, zero dot uh, default dot conf if you go ahead and look up what it is is the file controls default Apache sample website and is in a blah 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 single IP so this is basically the configuration for uh, like the Apache websites and the IP for virtual hosts and stuff so if you go ahead and uh, view the response for this request and see what we have, the configuration is right here, one for the walnut.thm and the other for broadcast.walnut.thm. 
with um, auth user file on Etsy Apache 2.ht password. If you go ahead and again look up what HT password is, is a flat file used to store uh, usernames and passwords. So this is definitely what we want. So we can go ahead and copy this and try to include it um, in the uh, LFI vulnerability. Go ahead and view the source and down here, as you can see, it included the uh, username and the password as hash. Now, if you go ahead and copy this hash and try to crack it with John, nano hash. Uh, since I've already done it, I'm just gonna use dash dash show to show me the cracked uh, password, as you can see right here. Okay, so we have the username and the password for uh, broadcast.thm. So the username is with this password. As you can see, it is a uh, clip bucket. So the first thing that uh, we're gonna do is go ahead and use search exploit to for, uh, look for clip uh, bucket exploits. Uh, the version is uh, noted right here in the title version 4.0. So this is what uh, what we want. If you go ahead and cut out this .txt, there's a few vulnerabilities. Our CVEs in this. Um, unauthenticated OS command uh, injection, authenticated OS command injection. This is what we want, uh, unauthenticated arbitrary file upload or authenticated since we have the credentials. So right here, we can copy this payload, copy user share uh, web shells, PHP, PHP reverse shell as shell.php. Modify this uh, reverse shell, add your IP and port and copy it here. Have this payload copied. Mm. Okay, so um, we're not gonna use cookies. We're just gonna use dash u for the uh, username and password. So developers with the uh, password right here. F for a uh, reverse shell, our shell.php. And the, uh, wait, I don't think I copied the right thing. This one I'll also be able to. Um, this is the payload I used, so let's just go ahead and use this one, since I don't know if that works or not. Let's add the dash u again for the username and the password. Developers. And what was the password? I shouldn't have cleared the screen. Pseudo John, I'm sorry, dash show on hash. This was the password. Go ahead and copy it. And uh, the file should be shell.php, which, uh, which we just transferred here. Any name and broadcast dot net dot thm broadcast dot. Go ahead and press enter. Could not resolve host. Okay, what did I do? Uh, broadcasts right. Unauthorized, okay. Uh, let me check the username again. I'm sorry. Let's just copy it. Developers with this password and the space here. Unauthenticated. I'm gonna find the right syntax and get back to you. Okay, so I found the right syntax curl dash u not capital and the rest should be the same broadcast if you go ahead and press enter as you can see success yes file name this 1612 at the end and if you go ahead and visit this web uh, 
or page. Um, I think files and photos. Yes, 2021, 03, 20. And this should be our payload. So before we execute it, we're going to go ahead and uh, start up a listener on port 1234 and click on it. As you can see, we got the callback. Go ahead and run id dot 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 data. I stabilize our shell with Python 3-c import pty pty dot spawn bin bash invalid syntax. I'm so sorry. Dash c import pty pty dot spawn bin bash and sty raw minus echo fg export uh, term x term and clear the screen okay so um if you go ahead and run limpies or dash sudo dash v i'm sorry for the version you can see it's 1.8.21 uh, uh, which is vulnerable to again at the newest I don't know if this uh, if it's the newest, but one of the latest uh, CVEs for sudo, which is um, the heap-based buffer of, uh, overflow, which we used in the Lunis CTF video. Uh, again, uh, we're gonna use this. So if you go ahead and go to dev SS, uh, SHM, we, uh, which we have write permissions, opt. Um, HTTP server dash R for recursive uh, no parent uh, ten dot eight dot one uh, fifty four on port eight thousand with this okay. We're just transferring the CVE here for the sudo heap based buffer overflow. Run ls cd into a directory, cd into CVE. Give uh, executable uh, execute permissions on uh, sudo hacks me a sandwich and simply run it with target zero. As you can see, just like that, we got root. Okay, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.